Greetings guys, this is TVW slash The Full Within here, and I'm kind of making a different video from what I usually upload, but I feel like making this video because there are some of you that are not aware or ask me questions about what are my experiences with broadband TV, um, necessary gaming was considered under broadband TV, but I just kind of wanted to make this video to kind of state my experiences because I know some of you are, you know, on the fence if you should partner with Broadband TV, whether it be TGN or, you know, Freedom of in, in that sort of area. But, you know, I've been partnered with Broadband TV for three years, so I feel like I'm qualified to make this type of video just because I've been stuck and locked into their contract. But, anyways, I'm going to kind of talk about my experiences, and I kind of want you guys to make the decision whether or not if you should partner with anybody that's under Broadband TV. But with my experiences, you know, Necessary Gaming was considered to be under Broadband TV. And I didn't really think of anything when I partnered with Broadband TV. Um, I'm just going to uh, consider Necessary Gaming Broadband TV. But I just, I just felt like when I partnered with them, they really did help me a little bit right when I partnered with them, but it wasn't very long, like as far as the longevity, as far as helping me out with my channel, um, they didn't really do much as far as promoting my channel. And I know a lot of you guys think like, oh yeah, like networks are supposed to help you grow. Um, they're supposed to give you more exposure with your channel and stuff. All that stuff is kind of 50-50. Yes and no, um, networks do help you grow, but at the same time, you have to do your part as far as making yourself grow. But when I was with Necessary Gaming, they really did promote my videos because they had this um, website. Basically, it was a Necessary Game website. I don't think that website's up and running anymore because it got taken down. I don't know. I haven't checked. But I would upload my videos there, and then if they were to, you know, uh, I guess approve that video on their website they would put it onto their hub channel and that would kind of give you some views and some subscribers like that in in a short amount of time and i did gain some exposure from that i believe it was an elder scrolls online tutorial on how to level up from level 40 to 50 pretty fast and i think i got some views like i got around like 500 views on that video i think and then i think i gained like six to nine maybe 11 subscribers from that video so it did help me grow in some sense but i don't know like just being part of broadband tv it just didn't really feel like i was part of anything and I don't know, you guys could say something different if it was like TGN or something in that nature. But with my experiences, I didn't really have any bad experiences other than the fact that, yeah, you're part of broadband TV, but at the same time, you're just kind of part of broadband TV. That's really it. You're not really, you know, it's not something to brag about, really. I didn't think it was anything to brag about to my friends because, like, you know, Necessary Gaming wasn't really a big network, but at the same time, it was pretty cool to be partnered with somebody under Broadband TV, because then you have networks like TGN, and then Full Screen, not Full Screen, but Freedom, I guess is part of Broadband TV as well. But my, my tips or advice for you guys is to really just consider of doing more research. Don't just rely on this video to kind of have you guys make your decision based on this type of video. I really advise you guys to look up experiences what people had with this network. Um, for me, I didn't really have problems. The only problem I had was being locked in for three years, even though it said one year. Um, but that, that was kind of my fault. I don't think that was really their fault because it was just really unorganized because Necessary Gaming like made this revamp of their partnership like program thing and even though i did sign up for one year like it didn't really count because that was just when they started to change things up and since i signed that contract before they changed the you know the core like curriculum of their partnership it didn't really trans over to that so i was technically still under three years which really sucks and it's kind of like not fair but i i'm not going to complain about it really because it is what it is and what happened what happened and i'm kind of glad that 
I am with Curse now, so thank goodness for that. But honestly, Broadband TV has never done anything shady for me, um, other than the contract issue. But again, I'm saying that that wasn't really their fault. Um, it was just kind of on the air of them making the decision to transition to this new partnership program but at the same time everyone who signed the contract before the program change um, they didn't um, transfer the the same thing to those partners that signed before that revamp so a lot of partners were kind of screwed over <laughs> me included so that's kind of what happened but other than that broadband tv didn't do anything else to like do anything shady they allowed me to leave the network when I told them, like, yeah, I wanted to leave the network. I don't want to be with you guys anymore. And they didn't really, you know, say, like, oh, we'll give you an 80, 20% to stay with us. They didn't they didn't do anything like that at all. They're just like, okay, we'll send a, a partnership unlink request to the, the desk or something. And you should be released from your um, channel or the partnership within this day. And as of right now, I got released from that contract. And yeah, I mean, that was my experience. But at the same time, guys, it's kind of like making your call. I'm not going to dictate your decision as far as if you be want to be part of this network, uh, TGN or Freedom. Uh, I, I mean, you could join them. I wouldn't really recommend it. Just the fact that there is a lock-in uh, requirement. And under that, it's like two years or something, or one year, I don't remember. But any partnership that has a lock-in contract, it's kind of not a great idea. Unless you're cool with it. I mean, if you're cool with it, then I don't think it would be a problem for you. Because if you really like the network that much, I don't think the lock-in issue would be um, that big of a deal for you. So, I personally just think you should join a network that doesn't have a lock-in contract. Because then... You can leave whenever you want, and if you like it, then you can choose to leave and join another network. And yeah, that's basically my take on the whole broadband TV experience. Um, leave it in the comments down below if you have any experiences with them. But as always, guys, do your research. Look at other videos. Don't just focus on this one. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this video. If you like this type of video, Hit the like rating if you liked it, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you like what you see. And as always guys, I will see you guys on the next video.